Hello folks, time for another video and a weekend shave, as in weekend. Yes, well I actually had a disaster while prepping for my shave. But anyway, if you look at my title, the assassin has come back. Actually it never left. My buddy Josh sent me this razor a while back. Uh, it was made by A&E. I couldn't find any information on Blade Gap even back then. I even contacted Peter from A&E and he couldn't remember either. But it's the old assassin. I really like this razor because it's beefy and heavy. And if I remember from last time I used it, uh, it was a very nice shave. And you can see the Blade Gap right there. It's not too menacing. Very stout handle. Very nice and heavy. And I have a... Where is that blade? I have a Kai blade in there today. Kai blade. Now here's the disaster I had while I was getting ready for my shave. So I'm lathering up here in the old timeless bowl. Look how sloppy it is now. I accidentally dropped it in the sink. So I basically have soup in here. I was going to re-lather, but I'm like, you know what? I don't care. And it would be nice if I told you what kind of soap I was using, right? So I mean, it's... It's very wet, but I'm using it anyway. I don't care. And it's a great scent because it is, holy cows, iced tea. The iced tea, which, for me, I get more of a mint julepy kind of iced tea out of this. Very nice, refreshing scent. So I was looking for it today. And the label on the back is a little crunchy, but there are the ingredients. Made here right in the great state of New Jersey. Mm. I like the scent because it doesn't really remind me of a like a sweet tea or a standard like lemon iced tea. It reminds me of like a minty, not heavy minty, but like a mint and julep kind of iced tea. So anyway, I forget anything else. No, it should be good. Oh, I have this nick from last time, so I'm going to try to avoid it. But you know me, I'll probably forget. So hopefully I won't cut that open. Not sure if that was an ingrown hair. And I'm sorry for the noisy background. I got the air conditioning cruising because it's a million degrees. My wife actually started to do laundry. She always does that when I'm trying to do a shave. All right, so we're going to take this holy cow or holy koa. It's very wet, mind you, so it's going to be a little sloppy. But I'm sure... It'll be fine. Yeah, it's looking pretty gross, I know. But the slickness is there. I know it's going to be one of those super watery lathers that people hate, but hey, my mistake, I dropped it in the sink. Everything went in there, went swimming. But hey, I don't mind. Yikes. Yikes, I am covered head to toe. That's okay, though. All right. The Assassin by a &E. With a Kai blade in there. Yeah, this razor, of course, is no longer available. But I did find a Facebook... page on it which I'll put it's like I guess when it was first released it's kind of interesting and there was great slickness even that I dropped the lather bowl and its entirety into the sink which was full of water it still shows you that even if you make a crappy lather It is shavable. Now, some folks like to have that big, poofy Santa Claus lather. I personally don't care if the lather is runny, yogurty, whipped creamy, Santa Claus like. As long as I have the slickness, that is my goal. 
and it is plenty slick. There was definitely enough hydration in that lather today. It did the old kerplunk in the sink. No, I have to be mindful of where. That cut is up there. I don't want to slice it open again. Nice. I got a nice cooling effect going on. This is good to kind of show you that, you know, even if your lather's a little runny. And it's a, you know, if it's a good soap, it should be a good performer. Whew. Man, that water, like, I'm normally messy, but this time I am, like, extremely messy. By the way, the weekend is here. Today is Saturday. It is early afternoon, so I should get this up sometime before midnight today, this video. And the slickness is really good. So, let's apply some more of that. Wishy wish. Oh, I forgot to tell you what brush I'm using. I'm using the Craving Shaving with that Darn Rob Manchurian knot with the gel tips. And there's the Craving Shaving brush logo. Has that awesome Fanchurian knot from that darn rob. Or now I think it's called Chisel and Hound. My buddy Josh sent me this also. Josh, thanks. All right. Gotta love that lather everywhere. Sorry, it's looking so soupy, but I did dump it in the sink, so. But it's working fine. I was gonna start over and I was like, you know what? I'm sure this will work fine. It'll be soupy on camera, but holy cow or koa, however you like to pronounce it, is an awesome soap. It is pricey. I believe this soap is $29 a container. But it has all the goodies in it. <laughs> of course, I will leave the link to Holy Cow down below. I will leave that little Facebook link to this razor so you can see what it was all about. When it was first released, I don't remember what year, but it was a few years back. But it feels good. It feels nice. Like I said, I really like the weight of this razor because I like razors with some girth in the heft side there, some good heftiness. And I actually left that alone. Thank God I didn't cut it open. Wow, it's got great residual, this soap. Even though it was a little soupy today, or actually, it was extra soupy. Totally my fault. Like I said, I did drop it, <clears throat> excuse me, into the sink. So it entirely filled up with water. I'm surprised I didn't actually lose all of it, but it did survive a little bit. Enough to get me through the shave. But I did make a glorious mess on my counter. Just need to do a little bit of maintenance here with my sink towel. That keeps my clothing dry when I lean up against the counter here. Alrighty. 
Let's empty Sigmund the Sea Monster Sink. Do a little cold water rinse. Or room temperature water rinse, because it is the summer. I was actually going to use an A&E soap today, but I kind of already had my mind set on that iced tea from Holy Cow. Lancaster towel, Ooh, a flipping around today, the Lancaster towel. By the way, the soap, the, whole, the Holy Cow iced tea, that was also a collaboration between Mammoth and Holy Cow. I think I forgot to mention that last time I used that soap. And, I mean, yeah, it's right there and right in the front. You can see it says, with Mammoth. Great scent. Mm, good stuff. So that was the Holy Cow or Holy Koa iced tea with the A&E Assassin razor which sorry is not available but maybe you could find one somewhere in a BST form or something or who knows where and of course I use the timeless bowl which is a disaster right now because I dropped it in the sink and you can see that lather is all soaking wet but it still worked great and I used the craving shaving brush today with that awesome fan knot from that darn rub aka chisel and hound i mean it's you know it's sloppy but you know it worked it worked fine all right so let's finish this shave off with oh by the way there was a kai blade in that assassin razor from a and e kai blade on its first shoes going to use the matching bomb i like this container because it has this funky top that you just twist like that and it opens up and it, then you can just squirt it out and just a little dollop should do and of course the scent matches the soap 100 percent and there's also the ingredients are on that container too, which I'll show you as soon as I rub this awesomeness in. Goes on very nice. Doesn't go on greasy or, you know, some bombs will be like kind of sticky or, you know, greasy when they go on. This goes on nice dries up real quick makes your face feel like a baby's bottom oh yeah that's good stuff and yes the ingredients are on this make sure i don't put it upside down because i have a tendency to do that now this writing is very small i hope my camera can pick that up for you, you can pause it but that's the aftershave bomb in the iced tea from holy cow holy cow bleep blah bloop <laughs> all right so if you enjoyed today's the assassin holy cow shave <laughs> the assassin razor being from a and e and the iced tea from holy cow cow you know however you want to say it and yes it was a great shave i am just happy i didn't lop that off again up there which is great and if you enjoyed today's shave thumbs up if you didn't like it just tell me man glenn you stink and stay safe out there enjoy your weekend and it's hot here in new jersey and anyway 
Thanks for subscribing to my channel. Please subscribe if you're not a subscriber. I'll have a giveaway as soon as you reach the magic number again. And until next shave, Glenn signing off.